Hi everyone, I'm just here to do your spellings for this week, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and share uh, my screen. So today's, uh, sorry, this week's uh, spelling words are challenge words, so they're not similar in any particular way, they're just challenge words that are a bit tricky to spell, but we need to know how to spell them because they tend to come up quite often. So I'm going to jump straight into it, I'm going to give you the word and the definition, and then I've got two activities for you to do to practice those. So the first word is naughty, the word is naughty, naughty. So naughty means not behaving or obeying. You might say the dog was very naughty when it chewed my shoe or something like that. The next word is caught, caught, caught. So caught being the past tense of catch. We actually did this one last week, you're very lucky. And it means to take hold of something that is uh, falling or it's been thrown. The next word is fraught. The word is fraught, fraught. So if something is fraught, it is full of something, and that something is usually bad or unpleasant. So you might say that the gloomy forest is fraught with danger, so it's full of danger, um, and danger being the bad or unpleasant thing. You wouldn't say um, that the fridge was fraught with food. That doesn't really make sense, all right? It has to be something bad or unpleasant, all right? Something maybe a bit scary. Right, the next word is automatic 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 is something that works um, or operates by itself so you might have an automatic car my laptop turns on automatically when i open it something that happens by itself without you needing to do it or touch it or start it <clears throat> the next word is astronaut astronaut so an astronaut is a person who uh, is trained to go to space some people want to be astronauts when they grow up uh, people who go up into the space station or basically out of the world's atmosphere. The next word is cause, the word is cause, cause. So something or someone that brings about a result or an effect, okay? Um, so for example, the cause um, of the explosion was the um, gasoline um, interacting with something or the fire, okay? So the cause has to be one thing that starts another thing happening. All right. The next word is author. Author. OK, somebody who writes a book, a play, a story or any other written work. The next word is applaud. Applaud. OK, so applaud is to clap hands in approval. You can applaud somebody. Uh, the next word is taught. Taught. OK, taught is the past tense of teach, which means to show or to help to gain knowledge. So you've been taught how to do your spelling activities. OK, so that means you now understand how to do them. Uh, and last but not least, we have audience. Audience. So that is a group of people who are gathered to see something or hear something to watch something. OK, so an audience in a cinema or an audience in a play. So the first activity you're going to do is you're going to write down each of these words into your book. Then you're going to cover them with your hand. Make sure they are completely covered. You can't see it. And I would like you to attempt to spell that word from memory. So spell the word from memory. OK, then you can take your hand away and check that you spelled them all correctly. And if you did, even if you did, I'd like you to do it one more time. Cover both of your attempts and spell it again, see if you got it correct. And you can use a third attempt if you're really struggling on one in particular. You'll notice actually that each of these words has that or sound, A-U, or sound. So that's what we'll be focusing on there. Right, so pause the video now, write down those words, cover it, and attempt to spell it without looking. When you're ready for the next activity, come back and press play. Okay, our next activity, can you take each of your spelling words and write these sentences to include the correct word. Who mm, you how to do maths, okay? So using from that list that you have written in your book, it's probably gonna be who taught you how to do maths, who taught you how to do maths, okay? So write down each of those sentences with, with the correct spelling word. When you're ready to see the answers, come back and press play. Okay, hopefully you've written out all those sentences. I'm just gonna quickly run through the answers. So we've got, who taught you how to do maths? My mum drives an automatic car, said Khaled. Lots of children dream of being an astronaut when they grow up. The haunted house looks fraught with danger. 
The audience bawled with laughter at the comedian. Tectonic plates shifting causes earthquakes. The audience applauded the comedian at the end of his show. We were privileged to meet author Gillian Gross. Our elf on the shelf was so naughty this year. And a chew, I think I have caught a cold sniffed Miss Jones. Okay, so that's our spelling activities for this week. I hope you've enjoyed learning those words. Um, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we do uh, our other spelling activities. Have a lovely afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.